prefer to give you some rest. So, Celtigar, you were as excited as a virgin to see your hero behead that poor Gorold, weren't you? Watch your tongue, peasant. Lowborn scum like you often end up the same way. Oh, just listen to him. Still with his milk teeth that he wants to roar. Who knows, you little shit. I may even have been the one to squirt you into your mother's belly. <laughs> One more word like that, and I'll send you back to the shit heap where you were born. Shut up. Knight or thief. You are all brothers now, and equal before the gods. You will fight only when I order you to. Pardon me. My vows should be stronger than my roots. Oh, indeed, my lad. Here, you're officially brother to swine and rapers. Since I must train you, I'll show you why you must stay united. Attack me, one at a time. Approach! Let me see what you're made of.
At ease. Moors, we must speak. I've just returned from the infirmary with some very sad news. Maester Eamon will do nothing to save the boy. He has succumbed to his wounds. They were too grave. I will make the culprit pay. I knew that I could count on you. Before he died, the boy had enough strength to give us the name of his tormentor. He is one of ours, Cregan. Cregan? First Gorold deserts, and now one of our best veterans betrays his vows? You know what I expect from you, Moors. Cregan is leading the Western Patrol. They left this morning. I will leave immediately. Shall I take the new brothers with me to track down Cregan? They may still smell like summer, but I need them to learn how to patrol the wall. On the other hand, you'll have to do without Patrick. The builders need him. All right, Jaw. Cregan certainly is a big fellow. I know. He's almost as good a fighter as you. Do not endanger your new brothers too much. We're too short of men to waste them. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with him in the ruins of the Icemark Fort. Understood. One final thing. I received a raven bearing news that concerns you. A knight in the service of the King's Hand is riding towards Castle Black. He is coming especially to speak to you. The Hand of the King, eh? I wonder what he wants with me. I was actually hoping that you could enlighten me on that matter. My life belongs to the Night's Watch, Jor. I left the Game of Thrones behind long ago. So be it. May the gods speed you. Listen here, you crows. We meet at the West Gate and leave within the hour. Patrick, vengeance spoke of several weeks not as long. Straight away, Lord Commander. Just give me a moment to have a bite, I'll grab me food. <laughs> Pray excuse me, Sir Morse. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you have the time. Go ahead and ask. Here at Castle Black, the brothers tell many tales about you. They speak of the legendary battles you fought before joining the Night's Watch, and about how you earned the name The Butcher, faced with the barbarians from beyond the wall. The Wildlings? Just what do you think you know about them, lad? I heard that they're bloodthirsty barbarians who worship the White Walkers and mate their women with the Others. They sometimes try to claw their way over the wall to steal our women and destroy our land, thirsting for our blood. And if they were here, their eyes would launch showers of lightning to make the Night's Watch tremble, and balls of fire would fly from their asses. It's shit. The Wildlings are a real danger. However, they are normal men, like any other, which is exactly why they are such a threat. They attack when they're hungry, or when their balls are too full. There's nothing more dangerous than a hungry man. To be starving and ready to do anything to survive. I've been there. That's why I ended up here. Enough talk. Listen, Cregan is well liked by his men. He's a good leader. They may not take kindly to us going after him, 
Be ready for anything. If there's trouble, stay together. Keep an eye on the brother fighting by your side, and all should be fine. By the Seven, I hope that it won't come to us fighting our own brothers. What? You're not from a fighting family, Pod? Oh, it feels just like home to me. Kragan could have gotten away with a stint in prison and a whipping for the rape. But now that the boy is dead, once I've told him what he's accused of, he'll know that he has nothing left to lose. You can never tell how a person will react when they've come to the end of their rope. The villain will be as desperate as a cornered animal. Remember that this villain is easily worth ten of you, Celtigar. We are tracking him down because he broke his oath, and he will be judged for it. But never forget that he served the Night's Watch for close to twenty years. I won't underestimate him, Sir Mors. Well then, get ready. Is there nothing left alive along the wall? I'm so cold! It's even worse than I'd imagined! I can't feel my feet anymore! Silent. It's... it's too sober. And this is as warm as it will ever get at the wall. to Castle Black. And Kragan's patrol should be here already. We need to find out more. But there are only four of us. Could there be more of them? Four brave sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. You wanted action, right? Is here? <laughs> You're too late. There are wildlings everywhere. I killed a few, but there are too many. Two of them. Moors. They're beasts, I tell you. I did what I could do to save my lads by luring some of the bastards to me. Why did your men go? I sent them to try their luck. Crossing the bridge. Get out of here. <coughs> If you want to live, Mors, go. You piece of trash. A raper like you doesn't deserve to die this well. 
The scavengers will take care of him. And those of all the wildlings he killed? Not bad at all. When your time comes, do as he did, and take as many with you as you can. We'll try to remember that, sir. We must leave, Sir Mors. We don't have a chance. Remember what's happened to Gorold, Poddy. If I must die, at least I'll plant my dagger in my killer's eye. I hope that it will be so, Ronit. Cregan was carrying the keys to the fort. They're probably still on his body.
still moving. The bastard got running. I'll finish him off. Calm yourself, buddy. He'll tell us everything he knows before he dies. Keep your anger for the next wildlings we see. There's bound to be more. Uh, you're as dangerous as ever, Butcher. <laughs> At least I buried one of your boys. Dogs like you always travel in packs. Your leader must be nearby. Where is he? Where is gone? Shit on you, crow! If you have any beliefs at all, you should start praying. You'll be a wolf's meal before the night's over. You don't even have the balls to finish your dirty work, crow! Your pity is insulting. I will be avenged. The Half-Hand won't get here in time to save you. My brothers are coming for you, Butcher. Gorn will have your hide. As soon as we've ripped open your wall, he'll tear your heart from your chest and devour it, as promised. So he really is here with the rest of your tribe. Thank you. May the White Walkers take you. May the demons of the Seven Hells give him what he deserves! That pillager could easily have killed you. And there are more of them in the ruins. Spare your curses, and stay focused on staying alive, lad. I understand. Those beasts truly are ferocious. What are your orders, brother? There's a whole clan of wildlings not far from here. And they know that we've spotted them. He mentioned Halfhand. Corin Halfhand is relentless. If he's tracking these wildlings, he'll get them. If I know Gorn, he's surveying the area and preparing an ambush to slow down the brothers of the Shadow Tower. We'll go down and keep them from getting the passage back open. They'll be stuck here, and our brothers can just finish them off. Perfect. The dogs will be trapped. And us with them! It's a risk we have to take. We can't let this opportunity go. Gorn is one of the most dangerous leaders from beyond the wall. We've got to give it a try, and there are many brothers to avenge. I have little hope, but perhaps we can at least recover their bodies. on me, Westford. Cover us as long as you can, understood? I'll do my best. You'd best do better than that. It's our asses you're covering. We'll go down and stop them from reopening the ancient ice mark. So don't fall asleep.
Toddy is a craven wretch, but at least he can aim. than I realized. The door's almost open again. I'm certain that other wildlings are waiting on the other side of the wall for Gorn's tribe to open the door. We still haven't seen him, by the way. Be on your guard, Celtigar. Sir Mors, look behind us. There are more coming. They came from behind. What's that? Beast of crows today. Gone. You finally show your face. This time it's between you and me. Kill the boy. Damn. The butcher is mine. Don't interfere. After you die, I'll be a legend. Women will fight for my seed. I'm going to please you, old man. If you knew how many times I've heard that, you're already dead to me, Gorn. <laughs> 